Hello and welcome to Jim's Workshop. Today we're going to be looking at a possible project for my Unimat SL mini lathe. Uh, this is going to be perhaps a collet nose collet adapter that I can put on the Unimat to use these collets that I recently got at an auction. Uh, Basically, I got hundreds of collets for like $10. Now, these are, for the most part, DA200 series collets. Um, they come in all different sizes. This is, I believe, a full set from 1 16th up through 3 8 which is the maximum size for a DA200 series collet. Uh, there were also a couple of random collets in here. These, I believe, are tap collets for an unknowing tapping head. These are DA200 series tap collets. Um, you can see they're a little bit different in the back. They've got a square drive down in the bore rather than just a straight bore. Uh, as part of this, I also got a box of, these are Acroflex collets. Um, these are also I don't know, I guess maximum size on the Acroflexes go up through 3 8 which means I believe they are called AF38 collets when you hit the uh, 3 8 of an inch maximum diameter uh, so today I'd like to look at perhaps perhaps designing and machining an adapter that would allow me to use either the DA200 collets or the Acroflex collets on my spindle nose of uh, the Unimat lathe. Basically what I was thinking is a collar adapter that would allow me to mount either the DA200 collets or the Acroflex collets in this position to use them with the Unimat. Uh, my thought process was that I could make up a spindle adapter threaded for the M12 by one spindle on the Unimat. And then machine the other end to hold either the DA200 collets or the Acroflex collets. Now, this piece is a test piece I made just to test out my uh, M12 by one tap and see how, how good a job it does to actually thread this adapter to fit the Unimat spindle. Okay, so I've just gone in and done a test using one of my temporary or my my uh, test spindles that I used to test the tap out. Um, I did clean this up so it was running true. I cleaned it up with the with the Unimat. I went in and put this in my big lathe and cut the internal taper for one of these AF collets. Uh, that worked out very well. The collet goes in there just fine, tightens up just fine. However, I don't have enough diameter here to make a threaded retaining nut. So I'm gonna have to start from scratch using, oh, three quarter diameter stock. Um, so I'll go ahead and remake this whole assembly with a 3 8 diameter thread for the spindle nut or for the nut that that puts the collets in and pulls the collets back out. I'll come back and work on this video some more once I uh, once I do that.
It's a very good fit in that taper. I figured out it's a uh, five degree taper on the outside of these collets. So okay, based on the materials and the tooling that I've got available to me, I've decided I'm gonna remanufacture this using some one inch stainless steel bar, uh, seven eighths inch across the flats, hex for the nut that draws the collet in tight, uh, threaded three quarter 16 internally and externally because I do have a three quarter 16 tap and die set. Okay, so I went in the other shop and spent some time making a collet adapter so I could use these Acroflex collets on the Unimat mill. I made a collet adapter from stainless steel, threaded M12 by one for the spindle of the Unimat, uh, bored out at a taper to accept the Acroflex collets. They fit in there very nice. I made a collet closing nut once again from stainless steel. Um, threads on the collet adapter. Sorry. The collets themselves fit fairly well. They go in and with a good firm push, they snap into place. There we go. Um, so yeah, they, they fit okay. Um, this fits well on the spindle of the Unimat. And I actually machined quite a bit of this on the spindle of the Unimat. I turned down, you know, the stainless steel here with the Unimat so that it was all concentric with the spindle. I uh, bored it concentric with the tailstock. Um, so I should have had a good starting point to get this to work with these Acroflex collets. So yeah, that's how it looks installed. This piece that I've got in here right now, I've got a 5 16 inch collet in here, uh, which is a little bit more than the maximum that the Unimat spindle will allow. Um, so yeah, let's check the run out here. Okay, so I put a tense reading indicator on here. Uh, right now it's set at zero. Put a 5 16 inch ground steel rod in the collet, tighten it up. Um, this is what I got for run out. It's about seven thousandths of an inch. So I'm going to have to call this attempt at making a collar closer for the Unimat a fail. I will probably go back and revisit how I made this adapter and try again. I really would like to be able to use these Acroflex collets or the DA collets in the Unimat. Uh, I would probably use them as part of the milling arrangement to hold end mills when I'm, you know, in the vertical milling configuration. So for now, we'll call this a fail.